Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions, and in today's video, we're taking a look at some of my favorite tips, tricks, and commands to save time and boost productivity in AutoCAD. Whether you're a new user or a veteran, I'm sure at least some of these are gonna be new to you. One of them blew my mind when I first learned about it, and I think it's gonna blow yours as well. Let's jump right into today's video and get started. All right, so as I mentioned, these are gonna be helpful for pretty much anyone using AutoCAD, uh, but in particular, floor plans, details, those kind of 2D drafting uh, activities, these are going to save you a ton of time over the period of a career, especially. Um, so let's jump right into the first one. The first one I've talked about before on the channel, but many of you probably still don't use it enough, and that is ncopy. The ncopy command is the nested copy command, and it will move objects or line work from an XREF into your current drawing or from within a block into your drawing so you can manipulate and work with it. So I'm gonna type in N copy here and hit enter. I'm gonna select this piece of text that's in my XREF here and hit enter and then enter again to keep the same base point. So it's going to use zero, zero and zero, zero as my base point. You can see right away, it's brought this piece of text directly into my drawing, although it hasn't affected or moved the XREFs. This is a great way to grab line work or notes or dimensions from an XREF that you may not want to recreate in your drawing. You can use this to select multiple objects, say things like electrical outlets or walls, and bring them into a working drawing that you're modifying or adding too. Now this next one is probably common to some of you, uh, but to those that it isn't, this is going to save you time, especially if you're doing floor plans and details like I mentioned. So we all probably know the offset command. Offset is going to allow you to quickly offset an object. If you're doing floor plans, this is especially useful. You're going to enter in something like four or six inches for say an exterior wall and simply click the object and then offset it in or out. But you can see here, my wall isn't completely connected. Now, what if I wanted this to be a completely connected wall? Now you could use a variety of different commands to make this a complete floor plan or exterior wall, including things like the extend or trim commands, and then the join command to make them all one object. Now, a quick trick for this is to type in fillet, and hit enter and by holding down control you're basically using a fillet of zero uh, to make a 90 degree corner and this is going to combine the join trim and extend commands into one click so i'm holding down control and it's asking me for my first object i'm going to select over here and i'm going to select this wall here you can see it's connected them and now i can hit that command again hold this control down again down here and you can see it's so connected trimmed and joined all three objects into a single object so i'm going to do that again f-i-l-l-e-t and this is the same as using a fillet of zero with the uh, radius setting but by simply holding control selecting the two objects it's going to do all of that work for us so i can hit enter again now that i've done that and i've got a single wall object now when I use that offset command, six inches, I hit enter, click on the inside. I've now got my floor plan or exterior wall already completed in simply two commands. Now, moving on to the next tip, it's gonna kind of go with this one and it's a huge time saver. Before we jump into that though, if you guys haven't already checked it out, you can get my AutoCAD Fundamentals and Workflows course where I teach tips like these as well as more of the uh, workflow fundamentals like creating base drawings, templates, site plans, layouts, exporting and sending drawing files, as well as creating things like custom XRefs and custom layers. All of that is included in the course and you can get that up above and down below by clicking the links that are discounted for viewers such as yourself. All right, so moving on to the next one here. This is a great one if you want to save a bunch of clicks. Uh, we all know that selecting an object is going to give you these blue vertex points. Now, did you know that if you click on one, 
by default, it's going to give you the stretch command down here on the bottom. So stretch means you're going to move the point around. But if you simply hit enter while you've got one selected, you now have the move command using that point as your base point. You can type a distance to move or you can simply click or snap to another object. But the neater trick here is that hitting enter again is going to give you the rotate command. So you can do all of these commands from simply selecting a vertex. You don't even need to enter in any text. Hitting space again is going to get you the scale command. And then simply hitting space one more time is going to get you back to the stretch command. You can cycle through all of those. So hitting space again, you're going to get move. Hitting space again, you're getting rotation. Scale. It's going to ask you for a rotation point as well with your uh, scale and then back to stretch. So hit escape to get out of that. But again, simply select any object, click a vertex and hit enter. And you can now have a move, rotate or scale command with one click. All right. So moving on to two of my final ones here, but could be one of the bigger time savers or at least headache removers within AutoCAD. And those are the text layer and dim layer variables within the software. If you type in text layer and hit enter, you can give or name a uh, specific layer that you want all of the text in your drawing that you create to go onto by default. Typically, this is going to be like an anno or text layer. So for our example here, I'm going to type in the word text as the layer I want. Uh, you can also use uh, the current one that's set, but I'm going to reassign my text layer to text. Now that's going to update my drawing. And now every piece of text that I create is going to default onto the text layer, regardless if I'm not on that layer. So you can see I'm on zero layer right now. We're going to create a piece of text. I'm just going to type a bunch of letters here and you can see when I select this, it's on the text layer and it has the text properties. Now this is going to save you a ton of time because you don't need to switch back and forth when you're adding notes or uh, text to your drawing. It's going to go onto that proper layer by default. Now the same thing goes with dim, dim layer for your dimensions. Uh, I'm going to type in the word dims here for my layer or dimensions. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I could type in dim layer. It's going to assign that. And now every time I create a new dimension, it's going to default to the dim layer. It could be whatever layer you typically use. You can have your settings all preset. And now you don't need to swap or worry about things being on the wrong layers. They're all going on to the correct one by default. Now, that's all for today's tips. I hope you guys enjoyed them. Let me know in the comments what some of your favorite time savers are in AutoCAD or any software. And don't forget to subscribe and like the video and check out the fundamentals and workflows course at those links up above and down below. Cheers. Have a good one.